you can totally avoid getting sun damage this summer by implementing these simple strategies. The ultraviolet light of the sun is what causes all the sun damages. Making sure this light is unable to penetrate into your skin is everything that you need to do. Even though you may not be able to stay indoor when the sun is out, at least you should stay under shade wherever you are. Know that not immediately you get into the sun that the UV light gets into your skin and not when the UV light gets into your skin that it leads to damage immediately but until you are mostly exposed to the sun that the sun has taken away your skin protection before these damages start appearing on your skin. With that said, hiding away from the sun and taking a shade as coverage can limit how the sun will penetrate into your skin to cause damage. When your skin is getting too dry, it can weaken your skin protection and make your skin easily sensitive to the sun. That is why you must always stay hydrated. If you're always hydrated, your skin will be moist and maintain a balanced texture. And even if you're exposed to the sun, the sun won't immediately damage a hydrated skin like a dehydrated skin. Therefore, always stay hydrated always. With that, there are many ways to stay hydrated, which some of them are bathing with cold water in the day, washing your face with water multiple times a day, drinking enough water throughout the day, and moisturizing your skin both in the morning and at night. As I said earlier, stopping the ultraviolet light of the sun from penetrating into your skin is how to avoid the damage of the sun from your skin. And to that length, covering your skin with some protective ways can help in stopping the ultraviolet light from penetrating into your skin. And you really need to put them on especially when you are going out in the sun, the hot sun. Sunglasses is a no-brainer. It has been protecting the round eyes of the eyes from the sun damage. Likewise, the face sheet, protective clothing, heart, visor, and etc. Putting these protectives on before appearing in the sun can save you from the day sun damage. However, wearing protective wears alone is not enough to protect you from the sun, especially the hot sun, especially if the wears don't cover some of the parts of your body that are exposed to the sun, and you will still have some damages if these parts are still exposed to the sun. But there is a remedy for that too. The best remedy to fully protect the sun from penetrating into your skin is sunscreen. Wearing sunscreen full day will completely protect your skin from the sun and sun damage. From ages, sunscreen has been used and until our time, it is still effective to protect the skin from the sun. And even with that, wearing sunscreen of high SPF like 40 or 50 is more ideal as it protects the skin more better than other lower SPF. And another thing you should know about sunscreen is that it treats and removes present sun damages from the skin. That even though you already get sun damage on you right now, wearing sunscreen every day will remove these damages from your skin as well as continue in protecting your skin as long as you keep wearing it. Not only that, there is another cosmetic sun protective that you must apply on your skin as an additional sun protector. And that is nothing else but vitamin C serum. Vitamin C serum is very great on skin. Applying it on your skin, firstly, removes the sun damage that is already on you, ranging from round eye cycles to sunspots to sunburn to wrinkles 
and others. And secondly, protecting your skin from disallowing the sun from penetrating into your skin, which is a win-win. And thirdly, it plumb out your skin so you can retain a youthful look. By strengthening your skin collagen and by supplying more moisturizers. Vitamin C serum is great in making you to avoid the sun damage this summer. Anyway, if you want to apply it, apply it before applying sunscreen. Now, you know how to avoid the sun damage even at this summer. But without being able to maintain a hydrating skin, you can still find it difficult to totally avoid the sun damage. That is why you should watch this video next. If you want to learn how maintaining a high level of hydration helps to totally avoid the sun damage.